who becomes a race car driver? Who becomes a base jumper? The will to just try something big, something dangerous, something extraordinary, it's part of who we are. So we've just arrived in at Concordia. Tomorrow, we finally go up that way, towards that old hill. There are 14 8,000 meter peaks in the world. K2 is different in that it's steeper, it has worse weather. Everest and K2 aren't even the same sport. Uh, just on our way down from Come On. Uh, hopefully trying to go back down safely to base camp. Um, very, very windy, a lot of spin drift. Pretty awful. K2 is the most beautiful one, but also the most difficult one. The statistics on K2 are play with you emotionally. I've been through a lot of these summit pushes here. And I hope we got this one well dialed. Nobody goes to the mountains to die. We come here because this is where we feel most truly alive. When you're at high altitude, it's such a bizarre feeling. You consistently have a out-of-body experience. I like to say it's a, a walking meditation. It's such a focused activity that once you sort of go down that road in life, it's very hard to come back from. I think I need it. That's who I am. Hey movie fans, with X-Men Days of Future Past hitting theater soon, Hugh Jackman has revealed that he would love to see his Wolverine character team up with the Avengers. Jackman stated that Wolverine would fit right into the dysfunctional Avengers team. Marvel's Kevin Feige has hinted that there may be an Avengers uh, X-Men Spider-Man crossover, but if it does happen, it won't be for several years. That's it for today. Check out our Facebook page, Film Is Now. I'm Valerie, and remember, don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Bye-bye.